Hey there, thanks for being here for this week's episode of Bloomerang TV. My name is Steven Shattuck. I'm the VP of Marketing over here at Bloomerang. Uh, thanks for checking out this week's episode. I'm really excited to have uh, Murad Bushnak. He is the CEO and creator, creative director uh, over at More Web CMS. Hey there, Murad. How's it going? Going good. You, Steve? Good. Thanks for being here. So um, tell me a little bit about what More Web CMS does. What are you guys up to these days? Uh, MoreWeb is a responsive design content management system and blog software on the cloud. Um, it's meant for non-technical people to be able to make any kind of change on the website with uh, click and type editing and drag and drop directly on the website itself. Uh, there's no coding whatsoever and uh, you have one website that looks great across every device. So you don't have to you know, update multiple, multiple sites or anything like that. You just have uh, the one more website and, and that's it. Very cool. And I know a lot of those things are good for nonprofits because we tend to have some non-technical people, which is okay uh, in the organization. So a product like yours can can help them uh, create a really good looking website. And one, and one thing that you guys uh, focus in on, which is really cool, is uh, responsive websites. Um, and I know responsive websites is, is sort of a, a up and coming term a little bit, especially in the nonprofit sector. Can you talk about like what that is and why that should be important for nonprofits to pay attention to? Yeah, absolutely. Um, responsive design is, is fairly new. It, it became somewhat mainstream in 2013. So for those of you who haven't heard it or just kind of heard that buzzword, um, don't feel bad. It's, it's still fairly new. Uh, the truth is, is that um, responsive design is going to be on every website everywhere in the future. So if it's a new methodology, it's a new way of approaching web design, and basically um, it's, it's a website that is fluid, that will adapt to no matter what the screen uh, resolution is, so whether you're on a, an iPhone or, or a Blackberry or you know a, a tablet device or anything like that, um, your website will automatically uh, adjust to that resolution. So the elements on the page will resize uh, and optimize for that resolution, whether it be images, forms, um, text, text sizes, um, menu especially, uh, you name it. So. so this is really sort of geared towards mobile, right? Because you talked about lots of different devices. People aren't just looking at websites on you know, a laptop or a computer monitor. They're on all kinds of devices. So is that, is that kind of why it's important to, to pay attention to this you know, design uh, criteria? Yeah, I mean, historically, people would make a website and then they would create a mobile website. So the mobile website would have, let's say, limited information on there right. uh, as a, an entire corporate website, uh, which is kind of defeats the purpose because when somebody gets to your website on a mobile device, they actually they could be looking for something that's not on your mobile site. So um, creating a bunch of different mobile sites for different resolutions was what they're doing before. And now with responsive, it's it's basically one website with extra layers of optimization or optimized code, so that way it'll, it'll, it'll automatically go towards those uh, the screen resolutions. Not just small, but also larger screen resolutions. I mean, if you have a 30-inch monitor, you know you don't necessarily want your website to look you know that big. Right. You know? uh, responsive also scales up, uh, which is a really awesome thing. It seems like this is something, um, you know, there's all kinds of things that nonprofits ha kind of have to pay attention to these days that maybe one year or two years ago they didn't have to, but it seems like this is one that folks probably shouldn't ignore, especially when you think about how much giving happens on mobile devices and things like that. Um, how, how important is this to nonprofits in, in your mind? Is this really big issue? Uh, how, how much should people be paying attention to this if you're a nonprofit? Uh, it's critical. It's critical. I mean, uh, mobile uh, views are going to overtake desktop views um, in the not too distant future. So uh, the fact that that many eyeballs uh, are looking at your website on a mobile device is, is critical. So uh, if you go on your Google Analytics, you'll, you'll generally see about 20 to 50 percent of your total traffic is on mobile devices. So that's actually a, a golden egg waiting there. Uh, Google recently did a study where 61% of all traffic uh, or all mobile traffic uh, goes to a website that isn't optimized, they actually won't come back. So uh, when you look at your total numbers and then 61% of that traffic not coming back, it's, it's staggering. So uh, it is an extremely important thing and responsive design is really the, the best and most economical way of, of, of making your website engage with your visitors.
So what are those ways that, that it helps engage people? You know, kind of getting down to brass tacks. How, how is actually investing in a responsive website going to generate more money uh, for a nonprofit? Is it just going to convert more people? Is it going to give people a better experience? You know, what are those actual things that will happen after that investment's made? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, if, if you've ever looked at a website on your mobile device and it's tiny and you have to pinch and zoom and scroll left and scroll right uh, to see information, uh, that's not a good experience. And you're actually missing very important information that, that is on your website. Um, on a responsive site, uh, you actually see the images, the tagline, uh, pretty much those key pieces of information that you want to communicate to your customers actually up front and center. Um, so, so the user doesn't have to do the pinching or, or the scrolling or anything like that uh, to view that content. Um, you know, the donate button should always be kind of at the, nice at the top. Uh, you can have a sticky menu, so when you scroll down, the donate button still stays on a mobile device there. Um, and, you know, what we found, uh, especially from some of our clients, is that they've seen a, a great deal of success, uh, one of them being uh, United Way. Um, United Way of the Bay Area, we um, moved them over to more web, we optimized the site, uh, they got a great new, um, just a very custom website, really nice, um, and you know, the metrics came in and year over year, uh, their mobile mobile sessions actually went up by 34%, so wow. mobile traffic at one point, and then the next year they actually had 34% more mobile traffic, so what that tells you is that people were on their, viewing the website, engaging with the website, coming back to the website, um, you know, because it was optimized. Uh, and then because of that, they actually saw a 28% increase in online donations. And, you know, um, when we got those numbers, we were like, wow. I mean, we, we were kind of surprised, but not surprised. Uh, it was just nice when they actually showed us the reports and, you know, the, the, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. So really great to see that. And, um, you know, they also had some of their biggest uh, single... Um, Donation, donation amount off the website uh, just over the last year, which we've never had before. So uh, it, 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 was, it was really great to see that. Cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, I and mean, it's definitely something that it seems like it can increase the actual donation amount, especially when you when you think of you know mobile giving. So is this something that people need a brand new website for, or can they actually make an existing website responsive? How can people actually pursue uh, this way of thinking? Um, you know, most of the cases are going to need a new website. Uh, if they aren't already optimized, um, I mean, they could have a cleaner type of code in the background, you know, using, you not to get to technical, using divs and things like that. Some of the older sites use tables, and tables are a complete no-go for responsive design. So if your website is on a table type of format, uh, chances are you don't have that. If you are on, a, like, a div, CSS, HTML type of lay, um, coding, uh, it's, a it's easier for you to transition to that. Um, however, there still is more, it, it's basically just like another layer of code. So, you know, think about, you know, uh, 700 to 1,000 pixels, right? That content needs to be optimized for that resolution range. Um, so, you know, and then it goes down and down and down. So that's what, you know, a new responsive site uh, would do. Um, so chances are you're probably going to need a new website. Mm -hmm. uh, the good news is just as the same as redesigning a website. So if you were to redesign a new website and it doesn't have responses, um, you're probably maybe looking at like 20% more, maybe 30% more for a responsive site, generally speaking. So just keep that in mind. And it seems like if you're if you're a nonprofit and you're maybe in the early stages of engaging like an agency or someone like your company, that's a question you should ask if it hasn't been asked, right? Hey, is this website going to be responsive? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It should be a question right at the, right the get-go. I mean, if you want longevity in your website, you know, five years plus kind of thing like that, then your website has to be responsive or else it's just going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be on a, you know, an operational very, <laughs> a lot right. sooner than you think. So you definitely want to spend the dollars in the right direction. Yeah, it seems like this is something people should really pay attention to. So, Murad, how can, how can people find out more about uh, some of the resources you have uh, available over at MoreWeb? I mean, they can definitely visit our website, morewebcms.com. Uh, they can follow us on Twitter, uh, which is uh, morewebcms. Uh, we have a, a pretty good following there. We're very active on Twitter and Google+, Facebook, things like that. Um, so you can definitely check us out there. Um, we are releasing uh, a, a new set of nonprofit 
uh, responsive themes. So, you know, getting into that new responsive website, uh, you can actually save a lot uh, up front by using one of our themes, uh, and then we can customize that to be specifically for your brand. So um, that is a, a, an easy way to kind of get into responsive design if you haven't been thinking about it. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely link to that. Uh, definitely encourage people to check that out. And if you hear responsive or maybe see it on a blog, definitely click that and uh, educate yourself because this is really important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Well, Murad, thanks for hanging out with us for a little while and uh, sharing all your knowledge. And uh, thanks to you for watching and checking out this episode. We will catch you next week. Uh, with another cool interview with, uh, with a thought leader here in the nonprofit sector. Until then, we will uh, catch you later. Bye now. Thanks, Steve. Bye now.